Okay, this is a Bum Cheeks Minky Nappy. The outer is made of Minky. It has a waterproof layer and it has a suede cloth stay dry layer. There are two layers of microfiber sewn inside and it also comes with a two layer fold over bamboo insert. Once the insert is snapped together, that creates four layers of bamboo that goes down inside the nappy. Once the insert is inside, that creates six layers of absorbency. The jean snappy is very similar. It has a cotton outer, which is made of real denim. It also has a waterproof layer inside and microfiber sewn in. Jean snappies are not recommended for heavy wetters or overnight use as they have a cotton outer, which may wick. This is a Bum Cheeks Night Insert. It is a trifold bamboo booster that has two layers of bamboo overlocked together. Once folded into three and inserted into your nappy, that will create 12 layers of absorbency. You just place it on top of your existing booster and place them down inside the nappy. Once inserted, you have a night nappy with 12 layers which should last up to 12 hours overnight, depending on the child. This is a Bum Cheeks PUL newborn cover. It consists of sandwich PUL and fold over elastic for the trim. It has stretch around the legs and stretch in the back. These covers fit anywhere from three kilos all the way up to around seven to eight kilos. It has snap closures on each side. These are recommended to be used over your fitted nappies or your bum cheeks pre-folds. All bum cheeks one size nappies are adjustable from birth through to around 16 kilos. They have three main size settings, small, medium and large. To put your nappy in the large setting, Leave all rice snaps open and fasten the side tabs where needed. These can also be used to pull up and down for taller training. For the medium setting, snap the rice snaps up to the first placement. Then adjust your side tabs where needed. For the small setting, snap your rice snaps on the highest setting. The arms of your nappy even have crossover snaps so that you can do them up extra tight for small babies. Once you have snapped the arms together, make sure that you then snap the arms to the nappy so that the bottom doesn't fall out. Now we're going to show how to put the cloth nappy on. This has already been snapped up to small. So first we get our liner and we place it just inside. Pulling the front up nice and tight and the wings down around the waist. Then pulling the snaps in and fastening. Now we're going to show how to put on a pre-fold. Pre-folds are from newborn to around three months. First we fold the pre-fold into three and then we pull the corners out, laying a liner inside. Slide them underneath and pull up between the legs. 
bring the slides around to the front and fasten with the snappy. Once that's in place, just pop your newborn cover underneath and fasten up over the nappy. Once you've done up the cover, just pull it up over the top to cover your prefold and make sure the prefold is tucked in at the sides so that you don't get any poo disasters. And once that is on, just make sure that everything's tucked in around the legs so that no poo can escape. Here you go. To wash your bum cheek snappies, remove your liner and any solids and place into the toilet. Remove the inserts from inside the nappy and place them in a dry nappy pail without any water or sanitizers. Once you have enough nappies in your bucket to do a load, we don't recommend leaving them any longer than two days as this may reduce the life of the leg elastic. Add some half strength mild washing detergent or some soap nuts. Just add three to four soap nuts in a bag. Tighten your drawstring and pop in with your nappies. Once your nappies have been washed, hang them on the line right side up. You can snap the sides together if it's a windy day. We don't recommend using pegs as it may crease the fabric. Your boosters can also be hung over the line and snapped together, so you shouldn't need to use any pegs. Leave them out on the clothesline for most of the day in direct sunlight. The sunlight should bleach any marks or stains that you have on the insides of your nappies. When you are out and about, remove your flushable liners and place in the toilet. Fold your nappies up and place in your wet bag. You can fit about four to five nappies in your wet bag. There is also space at the front to store your washable wipes. Just wet these with water for cleaning your baby and once soiled, just pop them into your wet bag. <laughs>